हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्वीटी स्पीक्स ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे टॉपिक इज टू स्टेट वेरिएबल्स इन सिस्टम वेरी लॉ विच आर दीज टू स्टेट वेरिएबल्स द फर्स्ट वन इज बिट विच इज अ सिंगल बिट अनसाइन वेरिएबल अनसाइन मीन्स इट डजेंट कंटेन एनी निगेटिव वैल्यू द सेकेंड टाइप इज बाइट इट इज एट बिट साइन वेरिएबल विच मीन्स it carries the negative value so if you define a byte variable of 8 bit it will not have values from 0 to 255 but it will represent values from minus 128 to 127 similarly we have uh, in integers we have int which is a 32 bit signed variable short int which is a shorter version of int it is a 16 bit signed variable long int which is a longer version of int it is a 64 bit signed variable what are the advantages of these two state variable since they don't represent the values x and z it can take value only 0 and 1 so it results in improved performance and improved memory usage now while using these two state variables we need to take some caution let's see what are these cautions a uh, first scenario is what will happen if i use two state variables in randomization one thing which you need to take care is uh, except bit all the two state variables are signed which means if you use it in randomization it can take negative values so for example if i define byte so instead of taking 0 to 255 values it can take minus 128 to 127 this is something which i need to be cautious while using it du during randomization so if i don't want negative values i should be very very cautious what is the solution to this i can explicitly declare these two state variables as unsigned so that they don't take any negative value the second scenario is what will happen if the four state variable is connected to the two state value say for example i am connecting my design under test with my test bench and design under test is having a four state variable whereas in my test bench i am using two state variable so what will happen any x or z value which is getting uh, driven from the design that will get converted to zero in this scenario if a verification engineer uses two state variable to connect to a four state design output then any or x or z value will not be detected by test bench so this may result in missing a design bug what is the solution instead of connecting four state design outputs to a two state variable connected to the four state variable to stay tuned to such videos please subscribe to sweetie speaks official youtube channel